Hi guys, this is Tiffany from Tiffany's Beauty Treats and I wanted to share some makeup that I got from Sephora and also I did do some shopping at Dillard's and Ulta. Um, Sephora I bought online and I waited till I got everything so I can make a video. Um, some things that really stood out to me that I wanted to share right away was this mascara combo set that I did get at Dillard's. It's selling, I believe, I'm not sure if it's only at Dillard's, but that's where I got it at. Um, I've, I've tried a lot of different mascaras, and um, I've, you know, I've used a lot of brands. I would go drugstore brands, whatever, and I never have found anything that really does the job and doesn't end up clumping in a couple weeks. Um, this right here, the Dior Show Iconic, I can already tell. This is gold. I'm so excited I found this. I think I'm sold. This will definitely be my mascara. Okay, I knew right away when I saw the brush. Here it is. It's it's amazing. It lengthens uh, my lashes and it also gives them thickness. Um, but it also doesn't glob. You know, it doesn't get that clumpy glob that... Ugh, I hate that. Um, and then what they do, this is a combo pack, and together it's really buy this and then this comes complimentary. So it was $28 for, it's a set. And this is the Dior Show XTs. And I've never used two mascaras together ever. And it, I wasn't really sure about it, but the makeup artist convinced me and said, you know, basically you're just paying for one but getting two. So it is bigger than a sample, but what is so amazing and I really love is the brush. It has grooves in it. And the grooves, are. this is what really thickens the lash. This lengthens the Dior Show Iconic and this thickens. And I have it on today because I was just so excited. Um, and no, there was no clumping, nothing. And in my eyelashes, you put this one on first, the um, Dior Show Iconic, and this one on top of it. And I'd never done that before, but I'm definitely sold. So I love it, and I wanted to share this. This is a combo. I don't know how long it will last at Dillard's, but I would definitely go out and grab one of these if you get the chance. Okay, so sticking with eyes, I love this Clinique eyeliner. Um, it's the Clinique Quick Liner. And I normally, I've never used this. This is a Quick Liner, but this is intense. It's newer. Um, I normally just use a quick liner and I love the quick liner. I think it stays on well. I have sensitive eyes and it stays on and it doesn't irritate and it's really good. Well, I normally get, I used to get charcoal, but then I wanted to do a darker eye. So I started getting like slate and such. Well, when I put on the charcoal on my hand, I mean, that was plenty dark. And the great thing is, is it doesn't move. It sets. Now, it comes off easily with, um, you know, Pond's cold cream. That's what I used to take my eye makeup off or a makeup remover. It comes off easily, even the uh, Quick Liner Intense. So this is the Quick Liner Intense Charcoal. And, I mean, for charcoal, that looks like a, almost like a smoke black or, you know, a, a dark color. It looks really nice. And it just... It stays on. It's it's not waterproof, but it wouldn't come off. I don't believe with um you know just some wa a little water on your face. I mean it wouldn't last through a lot, but it's it's a great product. Um, I'm really excited that they came out with something with more pigment, um, and it, it does stay on nice. You don't even I mean there's sometimes when I don't even wear the eye base and it will just stay on. It never and I do have like an oily eyelid. Um, and it will stay on so I'm excited about the intense and um, I hope they keep this product out So I got this as well as the mascara that was Dillard's um, Another thing that I got that I have been wanting forever. I have been wanting this forever um, It is the naked to urban decay uh, It is amazing Okay, so I still just I'm getting used to it just got it and I did take a peek at it and the colors are beautiful and the brush I like the brush I really do I think the brush is great I mean it's great I think it's really good I mean it, it's good um, I like this is like a nice uh, you know for highlighting um, 
you can do the, your inner eye. I think it would be awesome to line your eye with the blackout with the liner and then you know use this to blend it use this to blend your eyeliner I mean you could even do the pistol so this one is a bigger this is a bigger so this is more your blend um, this is ugh, these colors I tried out um, suspect and I tried out pistol and verb in the YDK. So I was just playing around with them and the pigment on the those colors on are is amazing. Um, there's a great there's a couple mattes. Um, let's see. Get a good look. Beautiful and on the back it shows you all the colors and the names and crushed what they look like crushed and then the brush and then they give you this really cute little pink it's called Lip Junkie, and it's nice. It has a mint flavor. Uh, I smelled it. Yeah, it's minty. It's real minty, but it gives a nice pigment. It'd be nice to wear over lipstick, so I really love it. Um, the pigment is amazing. This is Pistol. I'm going to show Pistol and another different one, Half Baked. So Pistol is more in the cool family, and Half Baked is definitely a gold. Okay. So, half-baked pistol. Beautiful pigment. It's amazing. Uh, even the lighter colors. Well, half-baked is, but I mean, if you even wanted to do booty call, fun name. Um, booty call. wonder where they got that from, but it's funny. But I love Urban Decay. They have amazing things. Um, I know that some people have done a lot of comparisons with the... The Naked and The Naked 2. Um, for me, Naked 2 is amazing. I think it, it's just, it's in a category of its own. I love it. I would love to, you know, if I could have them both, but this is the one. Um, I love the, I do love blues and stuff, but I think there's only one blue in the other one. So you can just maybe buy a blue if you really want a blue in this one. So these are the colors this is it and the, what's great is this it's like a plastic metal tin it's very sturdy it is magnetic the other one is that uh, felt and you it gets makeup and stuff on it so i mean i've used it for makeup you know used as a makeup artist and stuff the other one and it just gets dirty you're always having to clean it but because i like it to look all nice and clean and it has a huge mirror so this is a sturdy, beautiful case, and these are all the colors and their names, and they're crushed, and they're beautiful. So I also wanted to show, uh, let's see, this is something that I really, really wanted. Um, I've used a lot of different blushes. I've not always, you know, I've bought in different brands and um you know, Revlon, I've tried every, a lot of different brands. And like I said, if you want to get something that's going to last and all, some things you can do with the other brands, but when it comes to blushes, there's some good staples you need. This is a staple. It's the probably the best blush maker out there. All the colors are amazing. Um, the color that worked for me was Orgasm, uh, another funny name. But I love this color. It's beautiful. It's a peachy pink and um, it has a lot of pigment you can layer it to make it look more natural or you can do a more dramatic look um, it is gorgeous I have a I'm gonna show you this color okay I'll do this hand it is gorgeous okay so I'm more fair skin and it can go on fair dark skin olive uh, you know any kind of complexion so it's a beautiful peachy pink. Um, so I hope you can see that. Okay. And it is, oh, got it all. Nice little clip goes in your purse, ready to go in your makeup bag. You're good to go. So I, I, I would love to try some of the other colors. I wanted to get some of their bronzers, but I thought this is a good one to start with. Um, it matched well and it looked good and um, I'm really excited about it. So this is a great staple. I, I don't know if I could ever use any other type of blushes because I think I'm sold now. So that was NARS. Um, this is $28 and I think it's a great deal and I think it's going to last a long time.
Okay, something else that I love. It is the Lancome Dual Finish. This is my favorite powder. You can do a couple things with it. You can wear it dry, you over a moisturizer for like a soft matte effect. Also, it comes with a puff. And the puff, you can damp, the, make the puff, excuse me, the sponge. You can make the sponge damp and it will go on heavier. You can even use it as if some people use it as a foundation. I will once in a while, but uh, you can put it on with a beautiful, you know, with a powder brush. But I just noticed they gave a new puff. I like that. Black and gold. I think it's beautiful. So, this is it. It's very lovely. So you can wear it two ways. You can wear a soft matte look or you can do this. You don't have to wet it. Um, I used to wet mine a lot in the, you know, before and use no foundation even. And uh, it was great. Now maybe I'll use a tinted moisturizer and, um, you know, a light with a brush and put it on. If I want a little more coverage, if I'm having a little bit of breakouts or something, I need to cover up some more heavy, I do use a sponge. So either way. And I love Lancome. They have a great product. So, I did try a new color. So, I'm excited to see what it looks like. And um, I, I think it's a great quality staple product to have. This is something fun that I did get. Um, it's the new, well, it's not new, but this I think the color is uh, the Rouge Dior Lipstick. And this is what I love about it. It has hydraulic acid in it, which is going to plump up your lips. And it's a satin finish. It stays on. And um, the color is beautiful. This color, I normally don't do a lot of. It has, it says, um, it's Rouge Blossom. I think it's more, it's more red. It has a red in it. But it's got a few different. So I love Dior where they put the name on it. Stamp it. Okay, here is one just one if you wanted to do one swipe. Very beautiful. Okay, and if you wanted to do, make it a little darker, here's, let's see, here's three. So, that is it. So you can see it's lighter, and then you can just do a little stain, and then darker. And again, it's 644. And I love their little CD. That is so beautiful. It's like a blue, uh, diamond jewel looking. I do have it on now even. I normally don't wear a lot of these darker colors, but you know what? It's fall. Uh, the mauves are in. The reds are in. And really, I mean, they all just are gorgeous. So, I love the quality. My lips feel really good. Um, it does stay on. For me, a lipstick staying on good is, you know, four hours. So, it stays on even longer. It'll stay even do a stain even after it kind of comes off because I drink a lot of water and stuff throughout the day, so I don't get... And I don't like those long, long-lasting ones that feather. So this is a satin finish. It will stay on. It's not going to stay on, you know, 24 hours or anything, but it's it's beautiful. It has great pigment, great color. The hydraulic acid, which is a big plus. I think they reformulated that. And that is my Dior. I did get some fun little things at Ulta. Um, I think it's great that, you know, they have these. I wanted to try these. I heard great things about their eyeshadows. Um, Ulta has these eyeshadows. They're $3. And I want, I've heard really good things. And I've been in the store and I always pass them and I never get them. So, I decided to get some for $3. I wanted to get also a couple colors that, you know, blue. Because I really needed makeup. So, I did get this one. This is Stardust. It is really, really pretty. Um, it's a lighter. It's kind of like half-baked, what I had on earlier, with the Urban Decay 2, but it's lighter. It's beautiful. And the container, it's big. I mean, it's bigger than it looks. So this is Stardust. And like I said, I did. I do like to do a silver and sometimes a, a blue, the smokier looks, the bluish silver. So I got a color called Peacock. Love it. It actually is very beautiful. A lot of pigment. These come in sheer, matte, and shimmer. And it will tell you which one it is. This one is a uh, shimmer, I believe. So it's not too glittery or anything. It's really pretty. And then I got a nice, this would be like a nice, uh, you know, highlight color if you're going to do that 
blue silvery smoky eye I really love it okay platinum I think that would go with anything and it's beautiful so I, I love these colors. I think they're great. I think that they're, for the price, you cannot beat them. And, um, you know, they're at Ulta. So with Sephora, I love they have the Beauty Insiders. And I think anyone should sign up for that. And Ulta has a program like that, too. But my favorite things I think I got are definitely this. This is the Naked 2. Well worth it. Well worth the money. It was $50 with the lip gloss and uh, Sephora will ship free or you can go visit the store and the mascara oh, I love it it is amazing it is just wow um do love the lipstick as well you know I didn't know if I would like a color like this but the Dior lipstick is great so thank you so much for watching I hope that um you enjoyed it and if you have any questions or comments uh, let me know I'm again it's Tiffany's Beauty Treats and I look forward to talking to you soon take care bye I'll wave without a napkin bye <laughs>